destruct magic method. Now set up, I have a class called home. As a constructor, it accepts a lady and a gentleman. Then it sets the lady and gentleman as local properties and echoes out a welcome home message with two new lines. Welcome home, Sarah and Tom, exactly what we wanted. That's how the constructor works. But the one we're focused on today is the destructor. And the destructor is the exact opposite of the construct. The destruct method is going to be executed when the object is destroyed or the PHP runtime is complete. The application is executed. So let's uh, let's create it. Public function underscore underscore destruct echo. Y'all about to die, lady and gentlemen. And we'll say, guess it was a simulation after all. Da da da, just like that. Let's rerun this. Welcome home, Sarah and Tom. Y'all about to die, Sarah and Tom. Guess it was a simulation after all. We know how we trigger the construct method, right? Whenever we use this new keyword, it automatically triggers the construct magic method. But the destruct magic method, we never said like delete, you know, we didn't say delete home, right? Like that's not even a thing in PHP. Well, what happens is the destruct magic method is actually executed when your PHP application is done executing. So check this out. If we were to set a sleeper time and this just stops the execution of PHP and then for, let's say, I don't know, 10 seconds, but doesn't actually complete the execution. It just pauses it. I need to put it at the bottom so we still see our constructor without our destructor. So our construct runs and then we pause for 10 seconds. We're just waiting. We haven't destroyed the object yet. Home it still exists. But as soon as we get to 10, you're about to die, Sarah and Tom. Guess it was a simulation after all. It will automatically call the magic destruct method when PHP is done executing. But what if we want to manually destroy the object? What can we do then? We're going to change that to five seconds since that was a little long. We're going to create a new house. We're going to call it Lake House. We're going to say new home. And then we're going to do Surfer Cali Dude. And then we'll say um, Spicy Simulator. I don't know. Get fine with the guy. Now we have two houses. We have our home and we have our lake house. Well, check this out. We can actually unset the home. This will destroy the home object from our new home class. So if we do unset on that object, we'll get it. And then five seconds later, because PHP is done executing, then the lake house destructor will execute. So first, when we run this file now, we're going to see both constructors execute. Then, because we are unsetting, aka destroying or obliterating home, the home object, we'll see y'all about to die, Sarah and Tom. Then, we pause PHP for five seconds, application uh, ends, and then the lake house destructor will execute. So, let's try it out, guys. Okay, two constructors, one destructor. Five second pause, and then we see the next destructor. So there are two ways to trigger the destruct PHP magic method. The first is just once the PHP application is done executing, it will trigger. It will be called automatically because the entirety of your PHP application is destroyed, it's gone, it doesn't exist anymore. And so this magic destruct method is called right before the obliteration of your PHP project. The second way to trigger the magic PHP destructor magic method is to unset or delete or destroy the object. And this will manually call the destructor because the object is destroyed. So guys, that is the PHP destruct magic method in a nutshell. Stay tuned in the, in the next series, we are going to get into my favorite PHP magic method the call magic method. Separate.